Welcome back, folks. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of computers. If you've ever wondered what a computer really is, how it works, and the role it plays in our lives, you're in the right place. So let's get started with the basics. Before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's start with a simple definition. A computer is a machine that performs tasks by processing information. It takes in data, which is just another word for information manipulates it, stores it, and reproduces results based on that information. Computers follow a series of steps to complete their tasks, often referred to as input, process, output cycle. Let me break it down. Number one, input. A computer receives information or data for various sources, such as keyboards, mice, or even other computers. This data can be text, images, sounds, or any other form. This is how computers take in the things we'll tell them, like when we type on the keyboard or click with the mouse. Processing. Once the computer has the data, it starts working on it. It does calculations, makes decisions, and follows instructions based on the output. Think of it as a computer's brain. This is where the computer thinks and figures out what to do with the information it receives. Storage. Computers need a place to keep information temporarily or for a long time. It is like having a memory where the computer can store the things it needs to remember. There are a number of types of computer memory. Just like we remember things in our minds, computers have their own ways of remembering stuff. Like saving files on a hard drive or remembering things temporarily in a special kind of memory called RAM. Output. Finally, computers show us the results of their work through different things we can see, hear, or touch. It's like the computer talking to us and showing us what it did with the information we gave it. This is when the computer gives us back what we wanted, like showing a picture on the screen, printing a document, or playing music through speakers. Now that we understand the basic, uh, basics of computers, let's explore two important concepts, servers and clients. A server is a powerful computer that stores and manages information, software, and services. It's like a central hub that helps other computers or devices get what they need. For example, I want to own my own website, robtech.com. I've looked for a developer to write some code for me. Where do I keep the host or store the code? I need a computer, but my physical machine is not built for that by default. So I will create another powerful computer, but this time over the internet. Store my code in it and make it public for everyone to use. Servers are like the big helpers behind the scenes that make sure everything runs smoothly. Like hosting websites, storing files, or running important programs. On the other hand, a client is any device that connects to a server to ask for information. It's like when you ask someone for help and they give you what you need. Your laptop, smartphone or tablet can be a client. You use them to talk to the server and get the information or services you want. Like when you browse the internet, send emails, or watch videos. Hardware. Hardware is the physical stuff of computers and device that we can touch and see. It includes things like the parts inside your computer, the screen you look at, the keyboard you type on, and the mouse you move. Think of what hardware as the physical parts that make up your device, like the pieces of the puzzle fitting together. Software. Software is the invisible, intangible stuff that tells the hardware what to do. It's the programs and instructions that make your device work. Software can be games, apps, or even the operating system that runs on your computer. Software is like a set of rules or recipes that tell your computer how to perform different tasks and run different programs. Imagine you're playing a game. The hardware, like the powerful parts inside your gaming console or computer, provides the strength and speed to run the game smoothly. However, the actual game you play that creates the virtual world and gives you challenges and adventures is the software. When hardware and software work together, you can enjoy exciting and immersive gaming experience. Operating System An operating system, OS, is like the boss of your computer or device. It's a special software that manages and controls all the other programs and resources. Think of it as the conductor of an orchestra coordinating and organizing everything. An operating system is the mastermind behind the scenes. 
making sure your computer runs smoothly and allowing you to interact with different software and applications. There are different operating systems, but the most common ones are Windows, Mac, and Linux. RAM, Random Access Memory. RAM is like your computer's short-term memory. It's a type of memory that stores the data and instructions that your computer needs at any given moment. RAM helps your computer access and process information quickly, like a handy workspace for immediate tasks. Let's take a quick trip back in time to appreciate the evolution of computers. In the early days, computers were huge machines that filled entire rooms. The first computer, the ENIAC computer, was completed in 1945 and weighed about 30 tons. It was the first electronic computer that could be programmed to perform a variety of tasks. It was used by the U.S. Army to calculate artillery firing tables during World War II. It was made up of 17,468 vacuum tone tubes, which make the only electronic switches available at the time. The vacuum tubes generated a lot of heat, so the ENIAC had to be cooled by a large air conditioning system. These early computers were slow and not very powerful compared to today's computers. They used vacuum tubes and punch cards to work with information, but things changed. Computers became smaller, faster, and much more powerful. They could do a lot more things and fit on one our desk or even in some pockets, even in our pockets. Computers have come a long way. And now we have all sorts of amazing devices that help us communicate, learn, work, and have fun. So there you have it. Computers, servers, and clients in a nutshell. Operating systems, RAM, and others. Computers take in information, process it, store it, and give us back the results. Servers help manage and provide information, while clients connect to servers to get what they need. Computers give us outputs that we can see, hear, or touch. They help us interact with the digital world and make things happen. I hope this explanation has made it easier to understand how computers provide us with visual, auditory, and tangible, tangible outputs, enabling us to interact with the digital world. If you have any other questions or you want to learn more, please help us by liking.